my life vision, how does that connect back into the three for one principle? Well, uh, many years ago, when all seven of the kids were younger, now, you know, the oldest is 23 and married, and I'm soon going to be a grandfather, which is just an awesome new phase in my life. And then I've got a 21 year old son and a 20 year old daughter and then a 17 year old daughter and a 16 year old daughter and a 13 year old son and a 10 year old son and many years ago I said I want to be able to spend more time with them when they get into their teens and so um, I went and structured the business and made the sacrifice in the short term so I would have more time for them when they got you know, in their teen years. Connecting all of that together is so important. It's what we call the combination principle. It's combining it where all the different pieces fit together. And many years ago, before we really even had more than a couple of the kids, the vision was clear to me that God had put me on this planet. My life vision, my purpose was to touch every single person in the world, one person at a time, make a huge difference in every aspect of their their life in a fun and exciting way. It's seven billion people on seven continents with seven kids. <laughs> so, so every one of the kids have their own continent. And, you know, their vision as it continues to develop is to take their God-given strengths, their um, God-given abilities, and apply those abilities combined together to, to reach the entire world. So the three for one principle, I'll tell you to get an extra 20 hours um, a week of free time, it didn't come overnight and it wasn't easy for me. Now with the vision project, if I had had that project 20 or 30 years ago, it wouldn't have taken me so long and that's why it's so important to get involved in the vision project. Um, they asked me if I'd just kind of share my vision and, and kind of uh, how I came about it. I mean, it was really a gift given to me at a young age, you know, at the age of nine. Um, and, uh, you know, I was at a camp, and it was a, you know, Christian camp. And, um, you know, I was kind of raised a very conservative. My dad's a, a pastor, and I jokingly say that God's never spoken to me, you know, verbally or in a dream because I wouldn't have believed it because it's how I was raised. But it, it's interesting because, um, you know, it seemed like God had a conversation, said, Mark, you're an average or below average kind of kid. And I said, I can see that. He said, if you're a good steward of all that I give you, you're going to touch the world. Which is pretty amazing. I said, okay. Now, what does a nine-year-old understand that that vision kind of developed over the years and in the last 20 years, I've really been working, 20 plus years, I've been working with other people to help discover their vision. And that's why, you know, the vision project was so easy to, for me to get involved in because they're helping people um, through different organizations and thought leaders and business and community all partnering up together to help us all discover our own vision and they have a wonderful project uh, or a process to go through you take a circle around that circle you just list everything you're passionate about and in the middle of that in the middle of that circle you just write out your life vision what you were put on this planet to do once we have clarity as to what our life vision is uh, not only does it transform my life the life of my, my wife and my seven kids, all the people that are connected business and socially. But it starts to reach out and connect others. And when we connect our visions with others, if that vision resonates with you, I want to connect my vision in with you. I want to help you accomplish your vision. As you accomplish your vision, I can accomplish mine. As I accomplish my vision, I'm probably going to be able to help you accomplish yours and so together we truly can accomplish so much more than we ever could on our own so oh, I don't waste the 20 extra hours that I have you know we haven't had a TV for over 23 years um, I don't waste even a minute of time now I do watch Barbie movies with my two daughters because that's important to them 
but I think I've become more sensitive with all the additional free time that I have now. I think I have become more sensitive to the value of time and how critical it is not to waste any. It's interesting, it says, you know, we've shared in other videos, um, it's interesting that people that are have a lot of money will tend to be good stewards of their money, which is why they have more. Uh, people that have a lot of time will, because they're good stewards with their time. So if you or I are not having enough time, the first thing we need to do is look at ourselves inside ourselves and saying, am I being a great steward of my time? And am I being a great steward of the time of other people? And so in, a, in another, uh, another natural law that connects into the three-for-one principle is the five T's to stewardship, time, talents, treasure, trust, and truth. See, all these things connect together. And it's a wonderful gift that I've been given, you know, over the years to be able to see some of these things and have people teach me and share some things and all of those type of things and hopefully this is a gift that you know vision project is sharing with you and that you will share with at least three other people as you help three other people gain freedom gain additional time uh, together we truly can accomplish so much more than we ever could on our own